Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you enjoy today's video, make sure you come back every day. Somebody did not get much sleep and had to go to the doctor today. <laughs> yes, but you're in higher spirits now. We have an ear, his very first ear infection. We believe it was a virus he had that hit, that the virus is in the outs, but that it triggered an ear infection. So we, uh, we're at Walgreens picking up a prescription for the ear and also a sucker of some sort for being such a good kid today. And he had a rough night's sleep, him and dad. Uh, not much sleep at all happened, but I'm happy to see that voice and face today. So yeah, as we said in the previous vlogs, James has been kind of fighting a bug with a virus, with a temperature, slow, low temperature fever. But uh, we've been giving him medicine. He's been eating, drinking. When he's on the medicine, it takes care of the fever and he's acting like normal James, but then it spikes after it wears off. But last night, the doctors wanted to see him if the fever lasted three days. So that was this morning. But in addition, last night was not a good night's sleep at all. And we come to realize, realize going to the doctor today, I brought him this morning that he basically had a virus that they think is on the way out, but that did cause his very first ear infection. So uh, we got some medicine for that. Um, now we'll go home and relax. With our local Starbucks, Roscoe and Broadway, getting some good drinks. He's loving the push pop. <laughs> Here's Teddy. The past 40 hours, he's reverted to just sleeping and eating. <laughs> Which is good. That's all he needs to do. And what's wild is, like, Jamesy's been so, like, needing attention. He's just been an angel. <laughs> <laughs> like, just going with the flow. Being Teddy. Being sleepy, being hungry while we let, while he gives us the, some time and energy to take care of his sick brother. Evie, come on. My little sous chef coming with me. So we have borrowed my sister's crock pot to start making intentional meals that we can just throw in and let sit during the day. This is not plant-based, but it's something that I love so much. So I was like, can we just have this? Um, and then it's like shredded chicken tacos. So just chicken breast. I put sour cream and then a can of salsa so that's our for our tacos and then i'm gonna make a super fresh yummy cold black bean salad so maybe black beans tomatoes probably some sort of pepper and then like a yummy vinaigrette i'll let you know when i put in um as our side dish we're trying to salvage this vlog it's been a wild day plus look at this kid But I think he's in better spirits now. Um, Teddy's sleeping over here. Sarah's gonna go get, finish getting dinner ready. Um, what I just spent the last like hour and a half doing was FaceTime with Chelsea and Cole. If you guys didn't realize it, they're getting married very soon and I'm the officiant, which means James and I are gonna go to Florida very soon, actually next week. So, um, you know, that's the only thing Sarah and I were saying about like him get James getting sick now is like, at least it's now, and there's definitely plenty of time for him to get better before we meet him go. Um, it's, like, not too soon where it's, like, in risk of it ruining him coming or, like, causing trouble for me because I need to be the, to be the efficient. So, uh, what even day is today? It's the beginning of the week. Late next week, we go to Florida for... Me and James will be there for four nights. Four nights. And we're going to go to Disney on two of those days. And then we'll be in Tampa on two of those days. So two days in Tampa, two days in Disney. Um, seeing a multitude of friends and loved ones while we're there. And so it should just be James and I flying out there together, leaving Sarah and Teddy at home. The FOMO's kicking in for them. Um, we will miss them, but we'll get some souvenirs and stuff. But it was really, it's cool that like, I got on the call with Chelsea and Cole, like we basically wrote 90%, 95% of like the ceremony. Um, I need to add in a piece of, of, of 
something from me, like a little Peter anecdote. Um, I'll try to resist being a full-fledged Peter Ramble because it's their wedding. Um, but they're like, hey, you're the officiant. Toss something in there about, you know, us, you, everything, nothing, all the, like just that piece. So then um, I need to add that piece. And then they need to finish writing their own vows because they're doing their own vows. What? Yeah. He's concerned about Dorian and Marlon going to the dark deep. We got tortillas heating up in the oven. Got some avocado chopped up. I don't have lime juice. I don't think, no, because we didn't vlog yesterday. Um, you would not have known we actually went grocery shopping and I forgot the limes. Um, but it should be okay. This is the salsa that I used for the chicken. And so there's a little bit left over. So if we want to use it for topping, we can, as well as some sour cream. And then here's our little black bean salad with cherry tomatoes, green pepper. I put a little bit of the salsa in there. Again, would have been better with lime juice, but I used apple cider vinegar and olive oil, salt, pepper, some minced garlic, cumin. I didn't want to make it too spicy because James has been like a little bit iffy about what he will and won't eat. So I'm just going to keep it, keep it neutral. So this vlog may very well barely even be a vlog at all. Um, but I really do just want to remember today. Um, it was a hard day. It was a really hard day. And I think it was like a true testament of Peter and I's teamwork. It was just truly one for the books. And I'm so grateful that we got answers and medicine from our doctor for James. And I'm so grateful that Teddy has been just a rock star, like going with the flow of basically our focus needing to be on James, but also like me truly taking on all of the Teddy responsibilities and Peter taking on all of the James responsibilities and then everything in between. It's just been, like I said, a testament of our teamwork and just and knowing in the the chaotic moments of James vocalizing himself not feeling good just him not being himself and things going awry so we can just look at each other and know that we'll get through it so like I said I don't know how much of a vlog this is even going to be but I want to remember today it happened everybody it's been like 40 minutes since James has fallen asleep and hasn't cried in ear infection agony. I'm so happy for him. Well, it's 1026 at night. It feels like it's 436 in the morning. Sarah just asked me, I was like, is today the hardest day of parenting for us so far? And I said, yeah. But the crazy thing is like, it's not because we have two kids now. It's because James has never been <clears throat> unconsolable for more than like 90 seconds in his life for numerous chunks of time since like one, two in the morning last night, he's been like very, very unconsolable. And that's why like, I'm almost glad he has an ear infection because then that, that like makes sense. Like when we went to the doctor and they're like, okay, well he has an, an ear infection now. Oh, and the doctor was like, that's probably why last night wasn't a good night. So we have, we have my medicine, hopefully that helps. But I don't like when my baby is so upset. And that. It's just so not him. Yeah. Anyway, I think Sarah mentioned there's not too much luck. We'll tell you that I'm taking my uh, FAA Part 107 license test uh, in two days' time. So I've been studying for that these past couple days during nap time and stuff. Um, so once we have that test, assuming I pass it, um, you will. We'll be getting a lot more drone footage in our vlogs because we've only done a few because we've been nervous about not having that licensing because you're really supposed to when you do YouTube videos or Instagram videos or photos. Um, anything commercial. Anything that can be considered commercial. But one of the things we said during paternity leave would be that I would I would do that finally. Um, so I've been studying like crazy the past three, four days, uh, two more days before my test. And we'll know like right away, like it's multiple 60 questions, multiple choice at a testing center. 
And then we're gonna put him in the street and just take a cool drone shot of him from 400 what? feet. What? 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 I don't know if I. I was hoping to take this test in time that I would have. They like send you a temporary card, <clears throat> and then your official one comes like a couple of weeks later. I was hoping to have the uh, temporary card by the time I went to Florida, because we're gonna be staying in Tampa, and I think it would be cool to just like fly it on the beach. So we'll see. Maybe maybe it will. Maybe there's enough time. So, and there's one thing in particular, but maybe you can think of, of some things off the top of your head. Is like what <laughs> what we've been doing differently this time with the newborn. And the, my biggest thing is using those sanitizing bags. Yeah. In the microwave. Had, I don't I forgot where we got them. Or maybe, I don't somebody sent them to us. We got or did sent insurance them. send us something? We got three boxes of these instant sanitizing bags. Um, that we've had since James was born. Like right. we got them for when James was an infant. And so we would boil water and do it on the stovetop, and that's been such a game changer. You put two ounces of water in this bag, put the contents only it only carries like a few things, like two bottles worth or a bottle and a pump's worth of stuff. Mm -hmm. Zip it up, put it in the microwave for two minutes, and boom, it's sanitized. And you only get thirty or twenty uses, uses out of each bag. bag. So it's not like environmental, I guess you could make that argument. But it's not just one use. No. And then, anything, can you think of anything else on the top of your head? We got this cool light that Lauren suggested oh, yeah. we get that I actually love. I want to get like three of them. They're like yeah. these eggshell things. Here, hold on a second. All right, so here's the egg. Do you know the name of it, sir? Egg, egg light. Nano or? It might sit on the bottom. Oh, I'll, I'll put the I'll put the link to the Amazon page. Down below. Here, I'm gonna turn off the light from the room so it doesn't look so backlit. And so here it is, and it's super cool because it's all by touch, and it's only like it's shorter than a can of pop, but you can like just literally touch it and hold it, and it goes soft, like that's the lowest, and then you can press it, hold it, and it goes the brightest, and then a quick like double tap just turns it off. Boom. And it's so, so it's, it's chargeable, it's movable. You can put it right there to change, Teddy. We've been keeping it like here, just on the side, to keep like some, some light by the, we we'll keep it right there to keep it, some light by the bassinet. Those are Sarah's thumbs. <laughs> Boom. But it's been like a good, like, you don't have to do the overlight. You don't, we don't have a small lamp. It's just like, you can take it and carry it anywhere. And I, want to get like I want to take it with me like when I walk to the bathroom of the night or like I want one so I can t I can walk down the hall to James's room in the middle of the night um, I just I love it it's so convenient I will say this uh, second baby um, that I'm not as scared I'm going to destroy him yeah <laughs> that's true <laughs> kind of got that out of my system with James mm -hmm. of like wiping his butt too hard or putting on a onesie too aggressively yeah. like or he scratched, like I remember being so upset when we were in the hospital with James that he like scratched his cheek or his forehead. He scratched his forehead like two hours after he was born. And I was like, <laughs> he's not coming home with us. They're not gonna, Mittens they're not gonna life. let him. Yeah. Um, I also think having our like the little diaper carries when they oh, yeah, it's huge. Too, because I feel like in our other apartment that we were in with James, we were really in like one room the same way we we're in our family room all the time. But like taking it, from our bedroom to the living room and then just having everything in one spot instead of just like obviously now there's more like we have more factors because we have a doggy and a toddler and more toys like it's not just like our adult living room with our newborn baby like it was with James so yeah, I was worried that the, that setup wasn't gonna go because well, I'm like what about James's stuff but then like now that it's going on you know we've he's been with us for what do we say 10 days now mm -hmm. all nine days um, that James is like set in his way he's a big kid now like he only gets changed in really two spots and so like we have his station of stuff like in those two spots and I didn't even realize that until we started like carrying we carding, already we'd already just that it happened yeah, serendipitously yeah. Um, but with this baggie of stuff for Teddy that works out because we'll change Teddy it's in a bassinet, a <laughs> bassinet on our bed on the mm -hmm. couch in James's room Anywhere. on the ground yeah. anywhere like 
So having it all together, just like, oh, quick, let me go grab that. Because we don't have, like, he's a little n- newborn, so he goes to the bathroom mm-hmm. anywhere and everywhere, whereas James, like, you won't realize it, and then he'll, like, you'll go to play with him, and he's like, oh, come over here to where we change your diaper. Yeah. Walk over here. Yeah. I think, too, with Teddy, we've had just, like, a good rotation of, like, clothes and swaddles and blankets just like at the ready, like having our laundry, doing our load of laundry today. Um, I just felt like prepared. Yeah. But I mean, I guess now we've had yeah, it's not super new. more experience of it just being like integrated into our everyday life. So, and we haven't even been using that a lot. We have Like we were so nervous with James. Uh-huh. But I mean, I think we still will we're use still will. it. We're just gonna get in the groove. But, also, the yeah. past couple of nights have not been normal with James being sick. But he's been. I can bet. Yeah. Alrighty. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.